Hello everyone, Chris Reynolds here again at Gospel Missions, and I just want to say um, what a wonderful day. And I have to say that because there are days when it seems like nothing goes right and everything goes wrong, and we have a tendency to despair in that. And right now I'm trying not to despair in some of the things going wrong. I'm here at the mission, and we've had two hot water heaters that need to be replaced. We got a plumbing problem in another place. And it's like, are you kidding me? I don't need this right now. But it's an opportunity for grace. You know, a young man that worked here, he's now um, in his first year of seminary with the Institute of Christ the King. He put that up on my wall, opportunity for grace, because we need to not look at the problems we run into, but how we handle them. And we can either despair, you know, how am I going to pay for this? How are we going to pay for this? You know, um, what are we going to do? Or we can sit back and go, you know what? God's got this. And I have to trust that God's got this. I don't know how I'm going to pay for these water heaters. And I know the plumber is looking into um, whether they're covered under warranty or not. But it's one of these things where, you know, let's not despair. Be not afraid, you know. Go forward with um, just zeal for serving God, and he'll handle the rest. Matthew 26, I think I talked about this a couple weeks ago. You know, do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow has enough problems of its own. Worry about today. You know, let's, you know, look at look at the birds in the air and the, the flowers in the field and how God arrayed them with their beauty. Won't he do more for you? And it's true. You know, we just need to step back and say, God, this is yours. And I'm, I'm trying to do that today. And boy, it's a, it's a struggle. So pray for me. Um, I'll be praying for you and I'm offering up some of this pain and that I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with. And, um, you know, it's, it, some days you feel like you're beaten, but you know, we're, we're, I, I heard something the other day, and I don't know where I heard it. Maybe it was a meme or something. It said, you know, it's funny. We have a song, Stairway to Heaven. It's very small, but there's a highway to hell. <laughs> and it's true. So, you know, St. Paul talks about running the race. And, you know, we, 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 need to, we need to keep running the race regardless of running out of energy. We need to just keep going forward, knowing and trusting that God has a bigger plan and that peace will be brought through any pain or suffering that we're going through. We know that that's the case because he went through all the pain and suffering that we could possibly go through. But in running the race, we can either be the tortoise, the turtle, or the hare, the rabbit, right? And the rabbit ends up running out of gas. So the turtle or tortoise he takes his time, one step at a time, one step at a time. And that's what we need to do. How do we do that as Catholics? You know, one of the ways is praying the rosary. Many of you know, I get up and I go for a walk in the morning and I pray the rosary. I pray multiple, um, not saying it to brag, but it's just, it's peaceful. You know, I spend an hour and a half in the morning walking. Plus I get exercise in, I get steps in. And then I can eat what I want. I don't have to worry about it. Um, but it's one of these things where are you going to run the race? Are you going to be the hare that runs out, or the, the rabbit that runs out of gas before the end of the race? Or are you going to be the turtle that takes those one little step at a time? Come walk with me. We can do this. Pray with me. Pray on Wednesday nights with us for Our Lady's Power Hour. I just did a reflection on the Luminous Mysteries last night. I don't even know what I said. No. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, you know, gives me what to say. And I hope this touches somebody. I hope today that if you're struggling, know that you're not alone. And I'm here and I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. And pray for gospel missions as we move forward. Because it's always something trying to pull us off of our mission. So know that we're praying for you each and every day. If you have any prayer requests, please send them in to powerhour at gospa.org, powerhour at gospa.org. If you would like to join us on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern time, um, go on to gospa.org, sign up where it says Power Hour. 
Our Lady's Power Hour. You can sign up. If you can't make it, you get a link on Sunday with the reflection and a link for the rosary, and you can go ahead and listen to it then. God bless you. Don't forget one thing today. Jesus loves you. Have a great day and have a great weekend.